David. I've built a model of Captain Torres and Three Strikes. Based on your hypothesis and mission parameters from the past, I ran a precision combat simulation. But it failed. Bummer. Why didn't it work? Reasons in sensuous order are... 1. Your hypothesis is trash. 2. The parameters you gave me are um, trash. Did I do something to tick you off? 3. Captain Torres is a singularity. So the values diverge. But what about this one? Four. Three strikes is a singularity. That's outside the confidence interval. The possibility that it's one, two, or three is 99%. What? Significance is high. Hmm. Try this. This is Three Strikes data before he's assigned to the LRSSG. The Erujian military is gathering its remaining naval forces at Anchorhead Bay. Apparently, they're even bringing in ships from the Mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the showdown in Farbanti. We've received intel that the Alicorn will also be joining them. From which source, Brigadier General? There is a possibility the Alicorn's former crew have been tasked with sabotage. Your job is to analyze the enemy's weaponry. From now on, Speak only when authorized. I don't hear a response. May I be authorized to speak first, sir? <laughs> when we're done, I'll be talking to your superiors. Here's your mission. LRSSG is to raid Anchorhead, carry out airstrikes on Anchor Bay to the north and Dockyuk Bay to the south, inflicting all possible damage. If we can strip the port of its naval functions, we can also prevent the submarine from joining forces. The area around Anchorhead is Erujian territory. To delay hostile detection, you will sortie in small numbers and make your way in at super low altitudes. Small sortie, huh? Who's going? Count, Lanza, Hujan, and Trigger. Four aircraft from Strider Squadron will be deployed. Whoa! All right, I got this. To cover our lack of numbers, we're giving you plenty of opportunities to resupply. Look here. We've set up multiple return lines. Make full use of them to resupply and change armaments. Also note that the enemy will not be able to mount a defense immediately after detecting it. Use this window to destroy high threat targets. That should make things much easier for you. It should also raise the survival rate. Survival rate, huh? The element of surprise and resupplying are the key. Beyond that, I just need a couple of pilots who will stick to my orders. We don't need an ace to succeed. Got anything to say? Good. Brigadier General. That is all. David, go on. Let me share the career of Mateus Torres, captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people hailed him? A bit unfair to provide us with next to no hints, don't you think? <laughs> Fair enough. The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. He was a captain of the battleship Tanagir at the time of the Continental War. It led Egir fleet, the invincible armada. But when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberth Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he's the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control and precise evacuation orders. Then, there's the accident with the Alicorn. Many believe that if they stay with him, they'll live. Transfer from surface to underwater is unusual. However, considering his skill and reputation, along with the fact that the Alicorn is no ordinary submarine, it all makes sense. It'll be a difficult mission to carry out with four aircraft. Still, I'd like to add one more to the mission conditions. What, you want to make it even harder? I want a 100% survival rate for the sword. Any other number and the mission will be considered a failure. Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP.
can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. Wilco, I'll eat their hearts out. Sorry, Trigger, but the juicy targets are all mine. Strata one. Emergency! On Four bogeys! ETA two minutes! They're already here! Four. Verified. Where are they? Target is hit! Nice, Trigger. There's no enemy movement yet. Gobble up all the high-value targets. Forget about your manners. Alright, where's my artisanal burgers? Had to stay behind last time. This is gonna be a walk in the park. It's a good warm-up to get back in the game. Where's the attack coming from? Find the source! This is a Yes, Lieutenant General Shepard. Operation Dominoes is going as planned. Why don't we have our fires up there? Resistance from enemy air defense is confirmed. Keep on dining. Just don't pay for it. Righto! Begin firing SAMs! Oh, they think they've already won. Now's our chance. Now time for a counter-strike! Those newly online ships are a pain. If only we had anti-ship missiles by the truckload. That's a lot of ships lost. We're gonna make a fortune once the war's over. Buy stock in salvage companies while you can. Back to your station. Get the radar up and running. They're hitting us with long-range missiles. We can't return fire. Their AA defense system has been destroyed. Yeah, Trigger took care of the pricks. Oh, you won. Enemy fleet up ahead. If this size fleet were headed to Fort Monty, OCO would have a tough fight. Fox two. Fox two. Well, looks like it's gonna be the three of us. Ready, count to Trigger. You betcha. Not a single ship's gonna leave the port. Strider 1, missile away. Counter attack, no! Clear out the port immediately! We're sitting duck! We're on anti ship missiles. Hostile eliminated! That's the way to do it! If we can get him here, we'll be able to save a lot of points for Monty. Okay. Through that many. Amplify your fleet. You're telling us they can't go without using surprise attacks. Order is to abandon ship! Lieutenant General Shepard, we have a status report. 50% of the enemy forces have been neutralized. That's mostly the work of three strikes. We suggest an operation that doesn't rely on our ace pilots. You won't have many on foot, unless you can convince them that they don't need three strikes. Yes, sir. Sorry, guys. Your cruise has been canceled. Strider 1, locked on target. Don't let your guard down, guys. 100% survival rate. Let's go. Yeah, we're all going together. Low altitude approaches are unsure sure are difficult. The target is hit. Target destroyed. Locked on, you're mine. Sir, there's a few of them. They've done damage to the port and ship. Command order, accept this report. Do whatever it takes to shoot them down. Trigger, get on the return line if you need to. There's no need to wait until you've entered your weapons bay. Okay. Do something about those bastards up there! Let's try to warn. Strike is showing a stellar performance. Osea has much need of him. That is the unanimous conclusion of those in this room, Brigadier General. Certainly not the result I predicted. I'm sorry, sir. This is Tucker 04, requesting... Strider 1, this is... Strider 1, this is... This is Tucker 04, requesting airstrike on the helicopter carrying our target. Going for another attack run. Taking target is Vice Chief of Naval Ops, Rear Admiral Samuel Prin, sending coordinates. All aircraft, we've data linked the intel we've received from our recon team. If you have a visual on the target, shoot it down. Came in for a picnic, found ourselves in a marathon. I uh, thought you said this is going to be a walk in the park? You take walks to, well, walk. For the picnic, you have to eat. Eh, uh, you don't have to tell me which you prefer. All rotorcraft in the area appear to have been eliminated. Take out the world, There's still some last what the show parts can do. Use the 30mm on incoming enemy aircraft! That big 31's not firing any missiles. They must have scrambled without changing weaponry. Unable to fire missiles. I know how that feels, but that's no reason to go easy on you. Four MiG 31s approaching. They're fast. Yeah, These guys are interceptors. Bearing 310, altitude 2000. This is Rudy. Move my time until our rear catches up. Stay back. You're not equipped for air to air. Please look out machine guns. Engage. Still Band is coming from the northwest. They're in large numbers. Eight SU 37s. Sure. Warfighters incoming at super low altitudes. We're bearing 015. Have a report to three strikes among them. We have no further intel. Sorry. Roger that. Need to 
additional hostile ground forces. Thirty percent of observed enemy forces destroyed. Great. Keep it up. We ain't done eating yet. Need that right trigger. Strider 1, this is control. Enemy has a lock! Missile launched. Strider 1, target acquired. 
Projectile detected. Ten seconds to contact. Five minutes remaining. Projectile exploded in the distance. Must be a failsafe. Bingo. Looks like we found a solution. All right, all aircraft, follow Trigger's example if you can. Hell, that's easy for you to say. Got one on my tail. Try to one, missile away. All SU-37s have been destroyed. Those guys were well trained. Would have been tough if we let them hound us. All hostile ships in the vicinity have been destroyed. Taking on this much naval power is an astonishing feat. Tucker zero four to Longcaster. We need you to attack the designated heli. Enemy shell detected. Ten seconds to contact. The shell exploded. It's off the grid. Radar contacts. Additional hostile aircraft detected. Target confirmed down. Watch Captain Alonso Terrago gone. He just met for lost. That won't be much of a threat. Bandit down. Nicely done. Thanks. I knew you had my back, Trigger. Missile away. Projectile exploded. It's gone. Detecting enemy air reinforcements on radar. Radar contacts. Additional hostile aircraft detected. Hostile has a lot! Strider 2. Bucks 2. I've got a sitting duck here. Detecting enemy air reinforcements on radar. Don't you sneak up. remaining. Strider 1, missile away. Target confirmed down. In 10 years, Vice Commander of the 7th Destroyer Squadron, Tom Von Lee, will be in charge of the Erujian Navy. Well, would have been, actually. Detecting shell in flight. 10 seconds to contact. Strider 2, Fox 2. Strider 1, bandit destroyed. Shooting us from beyond our range. You're mine. Chaffin's left deployed. Detecting enemy air reinforcements on radar. Target shot down. Strider 1, missile away. Enemy on your six. Two minutes remaining. Shut down. They evaded it. Detecting shell in flight. Ten seconds to contact. Enemy's got a lock. <laughs> Strider 1, locked on target. Radar contacts. Additional hostile aircraft detected. We're playing tag with the ball. <laughs> Fox 2, Fox 2. Strider 1, down to hostile. Detecting enemy air reinforcements on radar. I'm not bandit. <laughs> Missile away. Oh. Radar contacts. Additional hostile aircraft detected. Target is down. Strider 1, Fox 3. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Three strikes has none of that. I do. Strider 1, lock on target. Command, officer. Strider 1, you don't. Missile launch. Yeah. 
I appreciate that. Also confirm destroyed. My cola. The fleet at Anchorhead was eliminated, and we prevented the submarine from joining forces. The unidentified aircraft were shot down too. The mission was a complete success. Complete success, my ass! Brigadier General, it sure seemed to me like the Bats knew you pretty damn well. You seem to be confused. Report in for a medical check. We'll decide if you're still fit for service based on the examinations. Cut it! That's enough! Get the MP! He's right. Get the MP. Vice Chairman Edwards of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The Alicorn slipped into Anchorhead Bay after the mission was completed, using the confusion for cover. It resupplied quickly and escaped unharmed. Their goal was not to join forces. It was to resupply using the window we created by chasing away the Erusian forces. We did their bidding, 
albeit unknowingly. But the problem runs deeper than our lack of tactical acumen. Analyst North, explain for us. Of the crew caught in the submarine accident, 330 men made it back alive. Of them, 300 are still in the sub today. Our intel has led us to believe that some or all of the 30 men who left the sub are now working as agents for the Alicorn. Sabotage, espionage, cyber propaganda, dissemination of false intel. Brigadier General, do you recognize the name Edgar Saxon, or Zool, as he used to go by? He is a former member of the Alicorn's crew, and your source of intel. You are a fool, Brigadier General Clemens. Not only that, the radio communications during the mission suggest you are a traitor. Sir, if you check with Lieutenant General Shepard, you'll understand that this is all just a misunderstanding. The Lieutenant General claims you were responsible for handling all aspects of the mission. Now, let me say that again. Get the MP. No need for that. Piece of shit. We've acquired important intel from the mission. For example, the shells from long-range anti-air fire came in on depressed trajectories. Look, the estimated energy output of the railgun is 500 megajoules at least. Fired at minimum energy trajectory, range is over 3,000. They hit a powerful rail cannon aside from their main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. A mobile Stonehenge. And also, this. The Alicorn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have loaded SLBMs. They loaded something smaller. Smaller? What is smaller and yet a powerful weapon? Huh. Tactical nukes. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, he got that question right. Nah. I missed the shell part. Quiet! They'll likely attack our bases on the East Coast. Their target's Ored, the Ocean capital. They want a nuclear war? Here's a question. What's a situation where nuclear deterrence doesn't work? Quiz guy, I've had enough of this. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. Damn, Scald. Hey, I'm good at trivia games. But we're after an erosion submarine, not terrorists. No, he's right. HQ tells me Eruja's justification is that the Alicorn mutiny. As such, the Eruja military cannot be held responsible for the submarine's actions. Damn. So they intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Ulred. Here's a question for you, Analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? Correct term is terrorist, or irregular military, but I have a different name for them. An enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct. <laughs>